All right, welcome to hydrology. Hydrology, hydrology, the study of water. The study of water. Um, hydrology is very, very important um, in civil engineering, in environmental engineering, in environmental science, um, and it's very, very useful uh, to study the Earth's uh, surface, the atmosphere, uh, rainfall, how much rain you know, falls over a certain area of the Earth's surface, uh, runoff, streams, lakes, rivers, oceans. Um, very, very important. Um, nearly 70% of the Earth's surface um, is made up of water, right? If you look at the Earth from space, you see uh, lakes, rivers, you see the big oceans, you see streams. Okay, maybe not streams from space, but they are there, right? So all this water is about 70% on the Earth's surface. And um, it's very, very important to study hydrology if you want to you know, figure out how much rain is falling over a certain area, uh, to predict storms in the future. Um, as far as civil engineering goes, you can use it to um, you know, design dams for 50-year for storms, 100-year storms, so on and so forth. Now the hydrology, the most important concept in hydrology is the hydrologic cycle. It's kind of the fundamental um, you know, place to start. So the hydrologic cycle, let me actually erase all of this. Oh, and there was actually one more thing I forgot to mention. The uh, hydrology is, it's the study of water, but it's a little bit more than that. It's the study of water uh, and its properties and its effects on the Earth's surface, soil, and atmosphere. Atmosphere, right? So it's the study of water on these three things. Um, that's kind of the general definition of hydrology. Now, the hydrologic cycle is a cycle hydrologic cycle is a cycle well yeah it's a hydrologic cycle um, that pretty much makes the earth run right without water we could not survive plants could not survive um, and don't tell me a cactus can survive because it lives in the desert it needs water um, hydrologic cycle is comprised of uh, many many things uh, first of all it, there's precipitation, usually denoted P. Precipitation is when uh, condensed water falls to the Earth's surface in the form of rain, uh, snow, or hail. And then there's evaporation. 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 And evaporation is basically water that's on the Earth's surface. Um, turning from liquid into gas, right? It's evaporating. Uh, then we have trans, transpiration, I think that's how you spell it, transpiration, and that's basically water uh, or water vapor that's being released uh, from plants, soils, trees, um, into the atmosphere, All right? Then there's infiltration, infiltration, an infiltration is basically what the word says. It's, it's water infiltrating the Earth's surface. So when water precipitates or when there's precipitation on Earth and water gets onto the Earth's surface, it'll go into runoff and that runoff might infiltrate into the Earth's surface. Which actually brings us to our next one, runoff. Runoff. Runoff, there's actually two types of runoff. There's subsurface, and then there's surface runoff, and that's R, right? Subsurface runoff is water entering the, the Earth's surface, the ground, um, and going into the water table below ground, right? So here's the Earth's surface, um, you have all the soil, and then you know the water table somewhere down here. That's subsurface runoff. Surface runoff. Um, is basically water falling onto the earth um, and it flows in, in sheet flow 
on concrete or pavement or it goes into rivers where it flows in the rivers to streams to um, lakes and all that sort of stuff or just on ground that's probably the most important surface runoff is water on the ground moving so one is below the ground one is above the ground then we got storage storage I should know how to spell that storage um, then we have depression storage basically it's the same thing um, but depression storage uh, one example of it would be uh, you have ground and then you have this little depression and then water forms here and then finally you have vegetation canopy vegetation canopy an example of vegetation canopy would be um, well let's say you woke up early one morning and you walked outside and you looked at your rare Jamaican plant that you got from Jamaica and it's very very rare and you looked at the leaves okay so here's that rare Jamaican leaf now if you look closely usually in the morning you'll see that water will form on this leaf uh, sometimes leaves are very very deep and they can hold uh, a, a small amount of water uh, vegetation canopy is basically the plant interception of precipitation right so water falls down on the earth it falls on plants uh, most of the times uh, vegetation canopy the best example would be water forming on the on the plant leaves or the plant leaf holding some amount of water so that's vegetation canopy and precipitation well actually I'll talk about that in the next video alright so see you then